Okay, we are live. So I'm going to have everything up on my phone so I can read. I've got the link in the Discord. And I believe we have the game links up. So let's go. Okay. So this is the best of three. Game one is live. So, okay, that's fine. They haven't started yet. So hang on. So it's two minutes. So very quickly, we do have team sheets. Um, I'll go through the team sheets when the battle starts because I did not do a practice stream. So I don't know how I'm going to drop the links into the chat because I haven't thought this through very well. Unless I can do it now quickly. So we'll hold fire. This is me learning. So if I go to my channel. Okay, so this is. I believe. And then this one is. Because they're both OTS formats, people will be able to see them. So, let's get this started. This is the first show match of the tournament. So, we'll wait for these links to come through. Got some exciting teams. Um, we're also going to do this without audio today because I messed something up, but we will get that fixed for the me next show match. Hope everyone's excited. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Where I'm currently sat, it's so hot, I'm literally dripping in sweat and I can't have my fan on because if I have my fan on, then that's all you will hear for the audio. Okay, so here is the link. So game one is live. So, on Feli's side, we have the Girafareg, the Terrapagos, the Amoongus, the Landorus, the Incineroar, and the Metagross. Metagross is very interesting to see. And then on the other team, we have got the Kyogre, Tornadus, Landorus, Toxicroak, Araquanid, and the Raging Bolt. So a rain team against what looks to be a Trick Room team. So turn one, we are likely going to see... Possibly a taunt come out. I could definitely see a taunt happening. However, we could also have... Oh, they just go straight for the Rain Dance and the Thunder. So Farigaraf holds on and the Trick Room comes out alongside a Rock Slide. So, now that this is set up, the Metagross can now continue to just Rock Slide if it wants to. Might even be able to earthquake. Let's have a look at the moves very quickly on that 
Metagross. So the Metagross has Ice Punch, Bullet Punch, Psychic Flames, Rock Slide. So we're probably going to see another Rock Slide. Yep, the Helping Hand and the Rock Slide. Araquanid comes in to help counter the Trick Room a little bit. Araquanid is a very slow Mon. So the Amoongus now comes out for the other side. What I assume we're going to see here is a Rage Powder and another Rock Slide. Now, Raging Bolt could go for a Thunderclap. Thunderclap is probably the Raging Bolt's best bet here. However, against an Amoongus, it's not going to do that much, unfortunately. No Rage Powder coming out. Um, Minecraft Zombie doubles into the Metagross, knocking it out. There's still a lot of contention in this game. The Raging Bolt has been put to sleep though, which could throw a spanner into the works, but Araquanid is still going to be faster than everything that's on the field. So unless that Landorus has Protect, and the Landorus does have Protect, but it does not opt for Protect, that Landorus is gone, it's dead. And we are left with just a Moongus on Feli's side. So now all we need is the Raging Bolt to wake up and the game is won. Because the Amoongus opted to Terra into that water type, as soon as that Raging Bolt wakes up, there's nothing that Feli is going to be able to do. But a very good game coming out from the start. Feli looked to be in a good position at the very start, but then it slowly, slowly slipped away from him. And now Minecraft Zombie just wins with that Raging Bolt. Terra's into the electric type to guarantee that the Amoongus dies. Very good first game. And of course we see the Kyogre that was in the back. So it's a very good first game. Minecraft Zombie winning that first game. Let's look at game two. If you wanted to view the open team sheets, the open team sheets are in the chat. So let's get both of these open straight away. So, we might see a more threatening lead come out from Feli here. However, that trick room is vital to that success. Yeah, the matchup is very unfavorable for Feli here because the rain team does a lot of damage to Feli's team that Feli will struggle to respond to. Okay, we see the same lead coming out from Feli, but a change up in lead coming out from Minecraft Zombie. We have the Tornadus and the Kyogre facing down the Ferrugarath and the Metagross. We're likely going to see... I don't know what we'll see. So Bleak Wind Storm coming out, looks like he's just going to double target into both those ones. The Origin Pulse misses on the Metagross, but I don't think that matters. It does not, as the Tornadus hangs on from the Ice Punch. The Terror also came out on Tornadus for a bit of extra chip damage against both ones. So the Terror Pagos now comes out. It is that slow version of Terror Pagos. We may see the Terra Pagos Terra here. Wow, Terra Pagos Terra, that's a lot of terrors to be being said. But now we see a Protect come up from Tornadus. Interesting that we don't go straight for the Tailwind there. And an Origin Pulse firing off again, hitting that Metagross. Maybe this turn we will see the Tailwind or possibly another Bleak Wind Storm. And Kyogre, I imagine, continues to go for them Origin Pulses. Even with Bullet Punch, I believe Tornadus still moves before the Metagross due to its ability of Prankster. So the Terra Pagos does Terra into that Stellar type. The Tailwind does come up, the Bullet Punch comes out knocking out that Tornadus, but it's too late and that Origin Pulse comes out knocking out the Metagross. That Terra Star Storm comes out, but we now know the 
Kyogre is faster than Terrapagos. The Toxicroak comes out. It will likely fake out into that Terrapagos slot while Kyogre fires off another Origin Pulse. Close Combat comes out into the Terrapagos and knocks the Terrapagos out. And then Ice Beam to finish off the Landorus. A very, very clean game from Minecraft Zombie. Very unfortunate for Philo there. And that is our first match, our first show match. So Felite faced off against Minecraft Zombie. Minecraft Zombie has won the set 2-0. This will go to their score towards their teams. It was a very, very good game. Very quick as well. Both of these teams were excellently planned, I think. In terms of the teams, um, Minecraft Zombie did have the better team into the matchup because of the rain. You know, Feli's team had a lot of weak points against this team. But playing this match, they've seen how Minecraft Zombie, they've seen how each other plays now. So that will tie into their other team games because it's likely their teams will look at these replays and think, right, we're going to analyse how these teams play. And potentially look at what strategies we can use for future matchups. Now, I don't know if Minecraft Zombie wanted to do a winner interview or not. We could have a look. Let's have a look. We'll ask, this isn't planned by the way, I didn't plan on a winner interview, but if they want to do a winner interview, adds a little bit more content. We can understand how everyone is feeling at the end of that game. Okay, so, while we wait for that. Let's update the score sheet. So Minecraft Zombie and Fila is going to be 2-0 in the favour of Minecraft Zombie. So from the two matches that have been played so far, we can see that Hazel has beaten L nine three five two one Minecraft Zombie has beaten Felite two O. So currently we're two games in favour of the Olivine Ogre Ponds against the Froggy Pie. And so we'll just wait on Minecraft Zombie to do that winner interview. Um, let me get in the right channel for this. So, the audio should be captured from this as well, hopefully. Actually, that's a very good point. Let's have a play with the settings and see. Okay. So, that should hopefully work when we do the interview. So there we go, the replays have been put into the Discord. There we go, the players are giving each other GG's, that's what we like to see. These battles will also be uploaded 
so that we have a vault copy as well. Hello, Minecraft Zombie. So, first match, you've won 2-0. How, how are you feeling? Uh, feeling great, honestly. Yeah, I bet. I did yeah. better than I expected. I thought that we would have to go to game three. Yeah, it, it was a very good set to watch, and the matchup looked very favorable for you. Do you think the matchup was quite favorable? Uh... Not gonna lie, I don't get to play against too many, uh, too many, uh, Teropagoses, so I was, uh, so I was slightly worried. Uh, Trick Room is also mainly a problem for me, but I, uh, uh, but I guess I just kind of, I don't know how to explain it. I, <laughs> yeah, you, you dealt with it quite well. Like, you went for some aggressive plays and they really paid off. Yeah, honestly, if I uh, if I tear electric my raging bullet just at the beginning of the match, I could have denied trick room entirely. Kind of wish I did yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, honestly, raging bolt is such a powerhouse. But speaking of raging bolt, like the team that you chose, you so you clearly went for a rain team. What made you lean into choosing that rain team? Uh, honestly, I just love toxic rogue. I'm I'm trying to make it work as best as I can, and it it it, it has done me well. It has done me well. I will say that. Yeah, it's always nice I've to see some more unique mons like Toxic Rope being involved against these big hitters. Yeah, I've uh, I've EV'd it, uh, I've EV'd it uh, very specifically. It uh, it can OHKO uh, Calyrex uh, Shadows with knockoff and OHKO uh, real, uh, bulky roll booms. It can it can do a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well. All of that work definitely paid off today. Uh, looking towards future matchups, is there any changes that you'd make in terms of how you played? Um, let me think. I uh, I guess I just tr uh, tr uh, try to. Uh, honestly, I wish I did more preparation because I uh, I don't get to prepare that much. I'm kind of a busy man. Yeah, I feel that, 100%. Uh, anything else you wish to ask? Um, I don't, th nothing comes to mind, but um, well done to you and your opponent. You both played very well, and I wish you good luck for the rest of the tournament. Oh, thank you. Uh, that, that's very appreciated. Uh, 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 Feli did, uh, did their best. It's just Kyogre so overwhelming. You know how it would be. Yeah, yeah, in that rain with the uh, mystic water as well, like it's just overwhelming. Those origin pulses as well, like you miss that first one in one of the games. It's like, oh, is that gonna play a big part into things? But no, that Kyogre's just a beast, and it cleaned up. Yeah, I uh, I was slightly worried when I saw that, but I uh, but I knew that like. It would still, uh, it would still have two HKO most likely. So I, uh, so I wasn't get yeah, like that big on it. I, it happens. You run Origin yeah. Pulse, it's going to happen. Yeah, definitely. Um, with that, actually, what made you decide not to put Water Spout on your Kyogre? Uh, 
Uh, sorry, did you say something? My Wi-Fi cut out for a bit. No, oh, that, that's all good. Yeah, I was just saying, like, with the move choice on Kyogre, what made you not opt for uh, Water Spout anywhere? I just, I, uh, I'm, I'm just too, uh, too scared of Rail Boom. Uh, that Rail Boom, just all the fake out users going around. I, I just think there's too much priority for me to actually uh, slot in, um, uh, slot in uh, Water Spout. I, I I like bulky Kyogre instead. Right, got gotcha. you. Yeah, that's that. that's fair enough. Yeah, I totally understand that decision. Well, thank you for coming and doing this short little unscheduled interview. Oh no problem. You have a nice day, man. Yeah, you too. Well done. Thank you. Bye bye. And there you have it. That is the end of our first match. We've had our first player interview. As I said, this will be uploaded to YouTube for those of you that didn't catch it live. Thank you all for watching and I'm excited to see what we have in store for the rest of the tournament.